Well, you might notice by the hat, we're gonna do something nautical today, kinda. We're gonna go check out Lake Alturas Lake. It's on the other side of Galena Summit. So well, there'll be a few things we'll stop and look at on the way there, like uh, Smiley Creek uh, and, the, and the summit and anything else we see along there that might be interesting. Uh, there can be a lot of road shots here, give you an idea what the road's like. We switched cameras from one of the uh, Kaboom I was using. Seemed to be jerky, so hopefully this new camera will work better. Anyway, enjoy what we filmed today. So what do you want to see today, Vicki? Alturas Lake. Alturas Lake. I don't know how far that is. We got a, almost a full tank of fuel. And we're headed northwest. 67 degrees out there. Not been too hot, which is great. 60s and 70s, that ain't bad. 70s is better. We're not, almost there. But we're going to uh, go over Galena Summit. And uh, for some reason, we're running out of water again. We don't understand that. We definitely ain't overusing it in the shower department. Must be uh, dishes or something we don't understand. So we're going to look for a fresh water source. Got my containers in the back. And uh, like I said, we're headed up to Galena Summit. I'll probably film more once we get up on top of that. Or, yeah, on top of it, maybe on the way up. What do you think, here? That be good? People yeah. like that, you think? Yes, dear. Oh, we got Hank back there again. She's feeling a little better today, I think. So, that's it for right now. We're going up uh, Galena Summit. And what I remembered is I wasn't going to use this little camera anymore. Kind of getting jerky on me. Well, we'll use it going up. Maybe we'll stop at the top, switch out. I think it was Bones and Charlie's ashes, wasn't it? Same time? No, not here, I guess. I wasn't here. I know, I wasn't here either. But This is where we uh, launched some ashes of my cousin and her husband. But I always stop here and give a thought. We're up here on Galima, Galena Pass. I don't know why I said that. I know where I'm at. Because that's where my cousin's ashes are. Right in there. I always stop here when I'm going over Galena Pass and give it a little thought about how much I cared for those two people, Dan Daggett and Charlene Daggett, A.K. Bones and Cuz. Good people. This is a nice area. I'll turn around. You can see that's their ashes in the back in there, and we tie a bottle of tequila back in here once in a while for our dear friend Bones because we always had a shot of tequila together when we uh, got together no matter if it was just across town or he lived in another state let's see if we can get this tipped up a little bit beautiful up here high traffic though 
Lots of campers today. It's Friday. Everybody's trying to get up to the up to the mountains, find a spot. Construction trucks too. We're doing fine. Going to continue on. See what the summit said, did you? No. Well, maybe it'll maybe it'll be on the camera. <laughs> This is a lookout point here at Galena Summit. Right back up in that road right there. They used to have a big biker party back there. Raised a lot of money for children. And we're headed down that way in this big valley. Gonna go check out some lakes, Lake Alturas. Maybe Redfish Lake. Didn't catch the sign for the summit. Don't know how high we are, but we're high. find a sign. The river of no return begins here. Yeah, I read about that last night. The salmon travel 900 miles to get here. Then they die. And then the babies go down. And then the babies come back up as adults and die and give more babies lives. You know all about that. But this is where it starts. Up in this hills. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can see over here. Right here is telling what these peaks are that are right up in front of us, how high they are. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. All of them are a little high 10,000 or low 10,000, but they're all over 10,000. So I'm guessing we're 10,000. That's those peaks right there. Definitely, if you come over Galena Summit, stop here and check this out. Uh, I guess this is the Frank, Ch Frank Church Overlook and his wife, Bethelene. Uh, Frank Church was a senator here. Unfortunately, they don't mention the fact that he ended up in prison. <laughs> But we still got everything named after him. If certain people would have done anything like that, they'd have tore down every statue or everything that's ever made about him. But not here. So much for political. There we go. All right, clear there, dear? Yeah. All right. Well, that was Glean the Summit we just left. Now we're going down the other side. I'll figure out what the altitude, altitude, elevation. elevation. Get those two mixed up. We'll put that elevation maybe on here. We're going down, and uh, like I said, the video you just seen used to be a 
big old biker party put on by the Sun Valley area, right back up in that road where I pointed. And uh, it started out because a guy got killed on his bike and he needed a, they needed help. The funeral costs, and, you know, it's expensive to die. We got that all paid off. I think we did that in the first party. They continued doing parties probably for another six, seven years and then giving the money to people that needed it. That's what bikers do. They raise money and give it away, helping out other people. Not all bikers are bad. Not all bikers are good. This side's a lot shorter than the other side. We're at a little place not too far from the Galena Summit called Smiley Creek. There's a campground back in there. I'm going to see if we can find out how much a char they charge to camp. It's like, you, like you've seen the other videos. We're always looking for a good deal. They have pretty good food in there, but let me tell you the trick. I found that out. Order a hamburger in there, and it's one price. Then they'll say, what do you want on it? And about everything you say you want on it, they add a dollar to it. So it gets to be a pretty expensive hamburger. I found that out the hard way. Well, let's go find out about Smiley Creek Lodge. Well, I went in and asked them, asked them, water and electric only for a week is 130. They have no sewer hookups here. Uh, full service, which I, I don't know what full service is, is 175. I think it's water or electric is 130. If you want both of them, it costs more. But you do have a good view here. And I think she said it was like 300 a month. But then you still got to go over here somewhere to dump. If you can dump over there, I bet we can get water. I'm going to go check that out right now. Looks like right over there is where you go. Okay, we just left Smiley Creek. And they said that uh, Alteras Lake is only two miles down here. So let's see if we can find that. But then you got to pull off the road and go quite a ways back in there. Well, I don't know. Good thing we got a four-wheel drive. A sign. Where's your sign? What did that say? How far? Back up and get a better shot of that. They don't make the signs very big. They go, it's a quarter of a mile, and all of a sudden, poof! 
Well, let's check this out, see uh, what the sign says. Alteras Camps. Camp Perkins. The lodge is three miles. Let me get it. We didn't get back far enough to get it in the camera view, I don't think. There we go. That's the campground sites. Let's go see what we got. 30 mile an hour, we can do that. We no hurry. 1.30, we're gonna have lunch, a late lunch. We had a late breakfast, so everything's open. That way, no way we're going up that road. see any roads yet I want to take my RV down <coughs> we're not gonna be staying at Smiley Creek just too busy too noisy yeah noisy busy too many people yeah but we got our fresh water there again I guess we've only got it one time besides what we carried in, huh? Yeah. This is the first time. But we carried in plenty. Carried in almost 95 gallons of fresh water. And it's gone in uh, seven days. Or six days. That don't make sense. I wonder if we've got a leak somewhere. I don't think so. day use. Is that what we want to look? You just want to look, I guess. No camping. No trailers. Day use only. Alturas Lake Group picnic ah, area. Alturas is on one side. The other lake... This is it. I guess we got to walk. Or uh, we keep going down the road. Fee area. Let's see what this says. Go up the road a little further? Yeah, let's go up the road a little further. Hmm. Well, I gotta find out is if our pass helps us out any on any I of these. Bet it does. You would think it would. Yeah. Seasonal pass is fifty dollars. What do you do with that? I ain't gonna pay fifty dollars to use a date. They wanted to they wanted to charge you just to go in there and have a picnic? Yeah, six dollars. What the hell? <laughs> I thought this was our woods. They I thought American woods. <laughs> huh? They gotta maintain that area. Yeah, that looked real well maintained. Come on, government. We paid for this place. Put a restriction on it if you want. Quit making us pay double. No, it's only six dollars. But six dollars to sit at a picnic table is Boo Boo and Yogi never did it. All right. That's a Bible camp. You don't want to go there. They're camping in Lake that lake? I don't know. I've never been here. Well, you seem to, to be telling me where to go. Lodge. What kind of lodge? Smoky Lodge. Smoky Bear Campground. Well, boat launches down that way. Ten day parking limit. Bucks and nine. I wonder if that sign says anything about in small print. Let's go look at the vault. But down here, but down here, 
and we'll go check that out. I think all the forest sites are mainly the same price. That one was 14 we looked at. But it was dinky dinky. Yes, dear. Now what do you want to do? Park right here. Here? Parking for vehicles with boat trailers only. <laughs> well, where are you supposed to park if you ain't got a trailer? I don't know. Well, see why we can't park there. No parking. I guess they don't want Really picky in these places. There's our boat. Picnic. Doesn't say you can't park here. Got a sign on it says something. No animals beyond that. What are you supposed to do with your dog? There you go, Hank. Take a look. Probably all you're going to get. They used to be a six dollars. Dogs must be on the leash. No need to say a place to put dogs. Picnic use only. But no parking. What are you supposed to do? Walk in? What's this one say? Parking for visitors with boat trailers only. No camping. It looked kind of like you're camping to me. Yeah. Did we come in this way? See if we had a long wheelbase pickup, we, we could buy one of those. Little sweetheart. She looks like Jan. She looks like Jan. Huh. I thought we'd be able to like come down on the lake and like have a picnic. It smells good down here. Here, why don't you try open that up and you can smell. Maybe that'll help your allergies. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you think I can smell anything? <laughs> <coughs> well, plenty of picnic places, just no place to park. Everywhere said boat parking only, but you can picnic camp there. Didn't make no difference. Yeah, but no deal. No idea. No idea. Mm. We're going to go a little further down the road here. Give me that camera. Eighteen dollars here. Second vehicle nine dollars. Double sides thirty six. Picnic is four dollars. I'm gonna get a picture of that. Well, gotta hurry. I guess he went the other way anyway. You know where he's going. Nice place though. Too expensive. Extra vehicle parking. 
So you can't even park your extra vehicle with your outfit. Wonder what they mean by extra vehicle. Would this be an extra vehicle? I think I just dropped their trailer, their camper, and left. See, these are extra vehicles to me. <laughs> There's our campground right there. Go reset it for us. Hawk perch for like. Must be hawks there. Pretty good sized lake. Yeah. I'll try to get a picture through the woods. water in there the hard way. Okay, you're putting it through there. Another bucket. Well, we found a spot, and it's a handicapped spot. That's good for me. We don't understand about the paying thing. It doesn't say anything about my pass that I have that takes me into any forest in, in America. So I don't know if we're supposed to pay extra or how this works. We ain't paying extra. But there's the lake right there. Get a good shot of the lake. Pretty good size. That's our view from our little luncheon spot. There's our dog. There's our wife. All right, I'm going to take the dog. She's going to take some pictures. You like it here? All right, that's all that matters to me. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. As usual, my wife took all the photos, and she's doing a good job as usual, except for these next two. My friend Tripod took these two. My wife, my dog, the lake, and myself had a great day. But I'll tell you what. This last photo here, it just makes me laugh every time I see people selling a bundle of sticks for $7. Gee money. What happened to our forest? There's wood laying all over it. Why do we got to pay $7 for this? It killed me. I know this ran a little long, and you may think I'm being a tightwad not wanting to spend $4 or $8 for a place to sit down. It's not the money, it's the principle of the thing. We are tax-paying people. I have all kinds of passes to get into these places, but nowhere to use them. I think the government gets enough of our money through our taxes. They could give us a break somewhere. Thanks for viewing. If y'all ever wondered what it takes to make a video up in the woods, about the woods, this is what it takes. As you can see, we got one, uh, two, three, four, five cameras, not counting the one we're filming with. So it's a lot of work. I hope you enjoy some of these videos we're taking. Exit.